Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Kat. Hey, Casey Cat. Don't forget to hit subscribe, hit the like button, and if we're never getting ding, hit the notification bell so you never miss a single one of my fun videos. So this video, I'm going to be teaching you guys some tips and tricks that I have learned from learning Japanese. So I'm very excited for this. I hope these tips and tricks help you learn Japanese a little bit easier and have more fun with it. So let's go ahead and get right into it, guys. Yeah. Okay guys, so my first tip to you is make a plan. So for me, I have the days of the week, what I wanna learn in those days, as well as the times. Trust me guys, when it comes to studying the language, patience and effort is key. If it helps, set an alarm on your phone or any on your computer or something like that to remind yourself that you need to study Japanese that day. Do not overwork yourself. Trust me, it is not fun. Learning Japanese and Japanese culture is a lot of fun, so that's what it should be with learning the language too. So. Don't overwork yourself. Let's go to the next one, guys. Yeah. Okay, guys, so now that we made a plan, we can figure out what step we need to do next, which it's figure out what study method helps you best. So for me, I have some mental conditions that make me study a little bit differently than most people. So for me, I find that flashcards really, really help. You guys can't see that's really bright. So for me, I got to make my own flashcards to help me remember certain hiraganas and katakanas, which have helped me a lot. And I also, put Japanese words on the back and on the front and uh, hiragana to help me kind of remember what words uh, go with each hiragana to also help me remember. I also have this little book right here, which if you guys are learning Japanese, you probably have seen this book. It's called Japanese One from, or Japanese from Zero One, Excessive Grammar. So you can get this book and the entire set on Amazon for a pretty good price. So if you can't afford classes, this book is really good. This is not sponsored by the way, this is not an affiliate product, but I have found that it goes into great detail about the culture as well as the language and you can write in it so you can keep it forever. Sorry about my stutter problem. Um, so I have worked on this for quite a while and I've learned a lot about the culture. So it has a little culture clips, little tips, and it teaches you how to, how to speak grammatically correct and naturally correct. Because in schools, especially more like American schools and American books, they teach you how to talk grammatically. But once you get to Japan and you hear Japanese speakers, you find that they're talking a little bit different than this because they're talking more naturally. So I really like this book a lot. I also learn best by music because my brain remembers lyrics and dance moves really, really fast and really, really easily. And there's a lot of channels out there who do music lessons such as Cyber Bunny. Cyber Bunny is one of my favorite YouTubers ever. Go check her out. So let's go ahead and go on to the next one, guys. Okay guys, so my next step for you guys is surround yourself with the Japanese language. Trust me, this is a lot of fun and you don't have to sit there in front of a screen listen to a teacher going, okay guys, this is what dashi wa means, I, boku means I from guys, okay, this is what arigato means, I sound like a robot, mate. So, if you guys get bored with that, trust me, I get so bored with it. Because, like I said, I'm a very upbeat person who likes hearing people having fun learning Japanese and not like some robot who is bored with their job and has to listen to teenagers ba -ba -ba -da on their phones all day and doesn't even want to be there teaching you Japanese. So, my goal, my tip is listen to people actually having fun speaking Japanese, such as natives of Japanese speakers who aren't teachers. So, this means watching J pop, trust me, listening to J pop is probably the best thing that you can ever do when learning Japanese because the boys are really cute, the music is really good, and oh my god, oh my god, they're so cute! Ah! Okay, so you also listen to Japanese podcasts by native Japanese. There's a bunch of them out there, trust me, it's a lot of fun. Watching J dramas, and I don't mean romance J dramas, take a break from romance J dramas. I love BL. Always watch BL, guys. <laughs> so, you don't have to listen to it for 24 7, but once you start listening to actual native speakers speaking naturally and more fun and upbeat, you find that you actually start picking up on it a lot better. Because then, listen to a robot who doesn't like their job and who hates any type of person. <laughs> It's really boring. You'll find that you're not having fun as well. Japanese culture should be fun and learning the language should be just as fun as well. So guys, take my tip. Do it the fun way. Let's go to the next tip, guys. Okay, guys. So this is probably the one that you guys have been waiting for. It is what apps will help you teach Japanese. So I found that a lot of learning apps ask you to pay um, just after the first lesson, which is usually just introducing yourself. And that is pretty much it. So for me, I have found two apps and a Facebook group that have helped me so much learning Japanese. So the first one it is HelloTalk. I'm pretty sure anyone who's learned Japanese has had about 
how to talk. It's basically like a social media platform for people who are learning a language. It's not just Japanese, but a big portion of it is. And you can do calls, you can do text messages, you can do posts, you can do audio corrections, you can do so many different things. Mama, you want to Everyone say hi to Momo. Momo, come here. Everyone say hi to Momo. And just a quick word of the video for you. Nako means cat and Momo means peach. So there's your little Japanese thing. So Hello Talk is a good app. I'll do a whole video about it because I want to give a huge shout out to all my friends that have helped me with Japanese as well as all the friends I've made that have been following me on social media and to my channel. So the next one, it is Kana. This one, it's basically just an app where you can practice writing, reading, and uh, understanding hiragana and katakana, which have helped me a lot. I've literally read, learned how to perfectly read hiragana in less than two weeks, so it's really helpful. All these, all three, all these apps will be down in the description below, so go check them out. And the final shout out, it is to a group on um, Facebook called Smearin, 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 ah, okay, here, Smearin, ah, sorry, I'll pop it up on the screen. So this is a Facebook group run by local uh, Japanese students who are doing this as an extracurricular and they are doing Zoom classes. How much is it? It's free. If you have a Facebook group or a Facebook profile, this is completely free to you. So, so definitely check it out. So helpful. So let's go ahead and go on to the next one. Mama, do you want to make one more appearance? She's looking at me in that. Nope. All right, let's go to the next one, guys. Okay, guys, so my final tip for learning Japanese, oh my God, is just have fun with it. Japanese water is so fun, so unique, and just absolutely amazing. So learning the language, I've said this three times, should, you, should it be just as much fun as well. So guys, get your kimono. All right, guys, so now I hope you enjoy using some of my tips. And if you have any more that I missed out, let me know down in the comments below, and let me know what you guys have found works best for you. And don't forget to comment some ideas for videos because I'm super excited to kind of mess and kind of drive my friends nuts if I haven't already. So I hope you enjoy this video and I will see you all after this Wednesday for Between the Special Episode 5. So I'm super excited for that. Done! Meow! Daisuke! Bye! Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Kat. Hey, Casey Cat. Don't forget to hit subscribe, hit the like button, and don't forget to ding ding. Hit the notification bell so you never miss a single one of my fun videos. So this video, I'm going to be teaching you guys some tips and tricks that I have learned from learning Japanese. So I'm very excited for this. I hope these tips and tricks help you learn Japanese a little bit easier and have more fun with it. So let's go ahead and get right into it, guys. Meow.